Jacqueline Jerry Carey. I am the project lead of the Health Enablement and Learning Platform Project, otherwise known as the Health Project. I am the project lead. I manage the different work streams in the project, which include content development, technology development, training deployment, as well as M&E in the project. I work for Ambref Health Africa. It's an African NGO based in Nairobi, Kenya. And Ambref Health Africa deals with uh, building capacities for human resources for health, strengthening community health systems, as well as gathering evidence for health programming. So right now it's estimated that by 2035 we are going to have close to 13 million shortage of skilled health workers and this includes skilled doctors, midwives and nurses. HELP targets the community health workers and their supervisors known as the community health extension workers. The program addresses the need to train, upskill and develop the capacity of this community health workforce who are a critical component in delivering community health services across Kenya. Using HELP, a health worker can receive content, take quizzes, access job aids, complete assignments, search content and collaborate with fellow community health workers as well as their supervisors in the group chat functionality, all using a basic mobile phone. Presently, HELP is scaling to train 3,000 community health workers and their supervisors in Kenya. We are currently in over 13 counties in Kenya, incorporating smartphone features and leveraging other enhanced functionalities. So to date, we have over 1,500 community health workers enrolled on the program with over 80% completion and over 70% performance in the inbuilt evaluations. The platform is able to deliver over 4 million SMSs per month, implying increased peer learning and also increased content delivery. Additionally, in phase two, we want to be able to look out for the health outcomes due to the M learning program, as well as test the business model with other organizations and implementers. The long-term vision is to build help into an M learning academy that will deliver accredited learning across multiple mobile channels to various cadres of health workers and managers in Africa. We anticipate improved service delivery and improved immunization rates among children under five, increased antenatal visits in the regions where this has been implemented, as well as increased health worker assisted deliveries. We have several partners using help on a small scale basis, and these include AstraZeneca, we have Site Savers, we have Save the Children. We want to help like-minded partners to have access to the solution, to increase visibility to it, and thereby preventing them from reinventing the wheel by building their own mobile solution. We are transitioning or want to have a balance from the current status where we are fully reliant on donor funding to have a balance between the donor funding to enable continuous development of the platform as well as have a freemium model where some of the users get to pay for the service while others are able to access it for free. Our main challenge right now is the cost of engagement. This solution relies heavily on the basic technology, which is relatively expensive compared to the smartphone technology, which is still out of reach for community health workers in Kenya. So how do we get our partners to see the value proposition of help as well as associated costs? How do we ensure a smooth transition between what we have right now, which is a project-based, to the social enterprise model? How do we strike a balance between the free and the paid services? We are looking for partners who can work with us in the transition phase as we test out the proposed business model. We wish to engage with partners who can strengthen our evaluation to bring out the impact evidence made by the project. So we are looking for technical expertise as well as financial support to help us launch a successful smart learning program given the infrastructure in the region. Mm -hmm.